Hi, I'm Krista Daniels, a naturalist here with the Elkhart County Parks. And for our Nature A to Z series, we are going to be highlighting the letter N. And for the letter N, we're going to talk about nymphs. More specifically, the dragonfly nymph. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you are not alone. Most of the time, people know dragonflies by their adult form, which you can see flying around above the surface of the water, or above the grass, or, or a prairie, catching insects. But really, there is a lot more to learn about a dragonfly when you talk about the nymph stage of its life cycle. Instead of the life cycle that includes four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult, like we learn in school and when we're talking about butterflies and caterpillars, the dragonfly goes through three stages, egg, nymph, and adult. This is called incomplete metamorphosis, and it's common in a lot of other insect species around here too, like mayflies, stoneflies, and damselflies. After the egg is laid in water, out hatches a nymph. Now this is what you can see right here in the video. This is a dragonfly nymph. It is not very flashy. It has large eyes, six legs, and if you look closely, you can see wing pads on its back. I caught this one in the wetland that's right behind me in the video where they are abundant. They like to be at the bottom or hidden in the submerged plants. Many are brownish, but some can be very green depending on the species. Their coloration helps them to stay hidden from potential predators like fish and frogs, but also helps them to catch their food too. The dragonfly nymph is a lie-in-wait predator, meaning they hang out in the plant leaves or rootlets waiting for a potential meal to swim by. When that happens, their extendable lower jaw flashes outward to snatch and draw in their food, which could be any small aquatic animal such as a beetle, mosquito larva, and even a small crayfish. They are incredible hunters. In the nymph stage, the dragonfly stays underwater breathing through gills just inside their rectum. Yes, you heard me correctly, their rectum or their back end. In addition to respiration, they also use their back end to provide locomotion underwater, forcibly expelling water out to propel themselves forward. You can see it in this video. It's how they move around. A surprising and interesting fact about the dragonfly is that they will spend only a very short part of their lifespan as an actual adult dragonfly. They will live as nymphs for a few months or even up to four years for some species. As adults, the ones we see flying around, they usually only live for a few months. So the majority of dragonfly's life cycle is underwater as a nymph. Pretty cool, huh? Not only are dragonfly nymphs so awesome to watch and to catch and to learn more about, they're also a great indicator species for good water quality. Meaning, if we find them in a wetland like this, that means that it's good water quality. Very few pollutants, which we love and we hope for in all of our waterways. And I'll give you a little clue in, we find dragonfly nymphs all throughout Elkhart County, saying that our water quality is fairly good. Now, stay tuned to our Facebook page and Instagram accounts as we're going to be posting some more little tidbits and fun facts about the dragonfly nymph. 